In this segment, we'll be covering how to add tracks to your Cubase audio project. Cubase tracks are designed to hold a large variety of different types of information and events. In the left part of our project page, you see two gray windows. These are called the inspector window and the track list window. If you don't see the inspector window, click on the Show Inspector button. To add a track to your project, right click on your mouse or you can select Project, Add Track. Let's start by adding one audio track. We can add mono, stereo, or multi-channel tracks. When an audio track has been added to your track list, its corresponding channel appears in the mixer panel. as well as in the series of settings in the inspector. In order to access each property in the inspector, you need to click on the corresponding bar. To access more than one property at a time, hold down the control key and click on the desired bars. Most properties are accessible via the inspector, and they're also accessible elsewhere in the Cubase environment. Next, let's add a MIDI track. We're also going to add a folder track. A folder track does exactly what it sounds like it does. It stores tracks conveniently. You can collapse and expand the Tracks folder in order to hide or show the tracks inside. The Group Channel The Group Channel is used to group different tracks and output them to a single bus. Here we can see that this output has been added to the drop-down menus of the audio tracks. Effects channel tracks are special tracks for handling audio plug-in effects. Like audio or MIDI tracks, there's a slice for this on the mixer panel. You can send the audio to the effects channel by using the Sends tab of Audio Tracks. Choose the appropriate FX channel track from the drop down menu. And by dragging the Send Level slider, you can determine how much of the signal has been routed to the effects channel. You can also add one video track per project. The Ruler track is available in Cubase SX only. This allows you to display timelines in different formats, such as bars and beats, seconds, samples, etc. The play order track comes with Cubase SL and SX only and it does exactly what you might think it does. It lets you create playlists from segments of your project, 
and then select the order in which you want to play them. Only one play order track can be created in each project. And finally, we have the marker track. Marker tracks are used to manage markers in a project. Only one marker track can be added to a project. You can resize the tracks window as well as the tracks themselves. In the right corner of the tracks list header bar, there are two buttons. This one divides the track list into two sections. Now you can toggle tracks between the two sections. Right click, then select Toggle Track List. The second button here allows you to color code tracks. The corresponding channels in the mixer in the same colors as well. And this makes your project window more visually comfortable. You can also customize your tracks here in the Track Controls setting window. Remove or add controls. Move controls up or down. Group controls so they stay together. Choose your controls. And then click Group or Ungroup to move between the tracks. Use the drop-down menu on top. These buttons let you add or remove presets. And this concludes our segment on how to add tracks.